When floodwaters roll in, the rule of thumb is to move to higher ground. But in Gays Mill, Wisconsin, it's been flooding so much the whole town is relocating about a mile north. It's a big day and I'm very excited. It's kind of a sad day too because I don't really want to move from that area. Lois Mickelson has lived here for more than 40 years. Last year and in 2007, floodwaters nearly devastated the village. Two floods went right through my house. We fixed it up the first time and well, we decided to try it once more. Well, then it went through again. So now is the time to get out of there. <laughs> Residents and businesses had the option of sticking it out in the floodplain or heading to a site known as North Mills, where officials have broken ground for the new town. History in the making right now because it's not something that happens every day. We, it's been a long haul and it's been, some of the people have had hard problems and having two floods in 10 months, it was devastating. Despite all the hassle, some officials hope the relocation will actually give a boost to a community that has been in decline. Even before the floods, it was slowly deteriorating and and now we're hoping that we can revitalize and get some growth. It will cost about $13 million to relocate residents and the village's library, community center, and government offices. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.